I'm Jessica with Mind and Baby Do It. And if you want to sew these for your friends, keep watching. Free Friday Friday. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm Jessica with Mind and Baby Do It. Welcome back. Before we get started, I need you to say it with me. Hit that notification bell, click that subscribe button, and like this video, okay? So, I was thinking, hmm, I think it would be great that if I could find some really cute patterns that's free and sew them with you. So, I found this super cute koozie pattern here. Look at that, reversible. Check that out. So you know it's gonna get really, really cold outside, right? And I think this right here will be a really cute gift to give to a friend or for you to just make for yourself. I'm a Pinterest fanatic. So therefore, you know we all here for the Pinterest, right? I know. I found this pattern um, with ckso.com. It's a koozie pattern, right? So um, what I'll do is, is we're going to, I'm going to drop the link below so you can go ahead and get on her, um, her blog and get her pattern. It's a free pattern. Free Pattern Friday, yay! Hey, it's Friday, yeah. I thought it was really cute because it got some sewing machine stuff on there. Okay, so welcome to Free Pattern Friday. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need for the tutorial. First, you will need the pattern. Your main fabric, your lining fabric, some interfacing. If you're doing the snaps, your little, I don't know what to call it, but it's a drips. But your little, mm, that type of thing. <laughs> your snaps and your punch. Like I was saying, yeah, um, I thought it was really, really neat that if you make something for a friend that you know that needs to be encouraged. What I did here, I put a cute Bible verse on here for her. So then she can just stay encouraged while she drink her coffee. I think it's really cute, so love it. What we're gonna do is, is we're going to flip our lining over, take our interfacing, and we're going to iron this on the back of on the back of our main bodice. I mean, y'all, I'm talking about a bodice. This ain't no bodice. <laughs> We're gonna iron this on the back of our lining koozie cup. All right. Okay, so, as you can see, we have our interfacing attached to our, ironed on to our lining koozie, koozie fabric. Next, you'll take your main fabric and put it on top of your, on top of your lining fabric, right sides together. What you'll do next is, is you're going to pin. Leave a two inch opening, two to three inch opening here at the bottom here, and you just pin all the way around. Okay, so I went to my machine. I did my 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch seam allowance all around my um, koozie, okay? And I left a opening here for turning. So what I'm gonna do next is just uh, trim my end. All right, so I have it trimmed and now I'm gonna turn it right side out. Okay, so I have it almost right side out so what I'll do next is, is I will just use my scissors here and like poke out these corners. Alright, just like this. I have it all turned right side out. So what you'll do next is you're gonna take these this raw end here and we're just gonna fold them in. I fold in my raw, my raw ends. I fold them inside each other. And now what I'll do next is I will do a top stitch all the way around to close in our um, opening seam. You get your, your puncher here, your snaps, and your little, I'm gonna say a little 
sticky thing, get a little stabber. <laughs> Not sure if that's what you call it, but that's what we're gonna call it today. Got my ruler, and what I, you just fold it over on top of each other about an inch and a half, okay? Just like that, see? All right, and then what you'll do next is you'll take your little hole punch here, your little your little seam puncher. It's not even seam puncher. I don't know. Tell me what this is, cause I don't know. I need to go look this up. But I like to, you know, just take it and I punch a little hole in it, just like that. And then get the other. And then what I'll do is, is I'll take my snap again. I will take my snap. Ooh, they just flying everywhere. And I'll put it on the back side of the koozie. Just like. Okay, and we are done. Look at that. Check that out. If you get tired of that one side, you tired of looking at candy, then you can just snap it. Look at that, we got a two for one. And look how cute that is. Look at y'all, y'all did so good. Woo, woo, we are done. Look how cute this is. Like this is such a great gift that you could give to a friend or just, you know, gift yourself. And look, if you're tired of it, on one side, you can just, you can switch it up. How cute is that? It's freaking awesome. I just love it so much. Ah! So this was super cute. Head over to CK Sew and sew up a few of these things. Give them to your friends and stuff. Look at that. I think this is really cute. So I think since I've already worked on my Halloween one, I have to do the... Thanksgiving one and a Christmas one. Look how cute this fabric is. I just love it so much. I love the idea of having free pattern, free tutorial Friday. What y'all think? So yeah, thank you so much for all to all my new subscribers and all of y'all beautiful and awesome comments. Keep those those comments and all that positive energy going, cause baby, that's all I'm giving, hun. I'm giving straight up positive energy. Okay. So yeah, um, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next Friday.